Interesting. She is creating a pattern using a square. It looks like Rinku is doing something interesting. She is creating a pattern using a square. Let's see how she does it. She is dividing the square into ten equal parts. You can see that each part is one tenth of the square. Rinku is now dividing each one tenth part into ten equal parts. There are hundred small squares now. Each small square is one hundredth of the large square. If Rinku further divides each one hundredth part into ten equal parts, she will have one thousand small parts. Each small part is one thousandth of the large square. So, we now know that one tenth is one part out of ten. One hundredth is one part out of one hundred. And one thousandth is one part out of one thousand. Isn't that simple? Now, let's see how we can write these fractions as decimals. In the decimal form, one tenth is written as zero point one. One hundredth is written as zero point zero one. And one thousandth is written as zero point zero zero one. Now, how do we write seven tenths, or seven parts out of ten, in decimal form? It is written as zero point seven. Similarly, four hundredths, or four parts out of one hundred, is written. As zero point zero four, and twelve thousandths, or twelve parts out of one thousand, is written as zero point zero one two in the decimal form. Did you notice something? There is one place after the decimal point when representing tenths. Two places after the decimal point when representing hundreds, and three places after the decimal point when representing thousands. We can give this information in a table like this. Do you know what this table is? Yes, it's a place value table. Now. Let's try recording some decimal numbers in this place value table. How about twenty-three point six four? This decimal number has two tens, three ones, six tenths, and four hundredths. Next, let's try to enter the decimal number zero point five one nine in the table. This decimal number has zero ones, five tenths, one hundredths, and nine thousands. That was simple, wasn't it? Now that you know the meaning of tenths, hundredths, and thousands, let's try answering a few questions. Here you go. How would you represent seventy-eight upon one hundred in decimal form? Select the correct answer and click submit. That's right. Seventy-eight upon one hundred is represented as zero point seven eight in the decimal form. What does zero point zero zero six represent?
That's right. 0.006 represents six thousands. In the decimal number 0 0.369, what is the place value of 3? That's right. The place value of 3 in 0 0.369 is 3 tenths.